It is time for the American. People will always remember who won the American. Why don't you just do whatever it takes and it'll probably come true. My stroke was only about 30 days ago, like, and everybody's pretty amazed, you know, when they haven't seen me, they're like, well, man, you're not as bad as we thought you'd look. I'm like, well, what did you think I'd look like? <laughs> but <clears throat> I feel really blessed. To, uh, I've had so many friends come and see me in the hospital and pray for me and everything. And obviously, I'm super blessed to be in the shape that I am. I'm, I'm roping 40 steers a day, and I'm doing kind of business as usual. And I don't have any bad after effects from it. So I've been practicing pretty hard to to get to um, go try to earn a way to get into the American and have a shot at the million dollars. Kind of like winning the lottery to a cowboy. <laughs> I expect everybody's gonna rope really sharp and I know they're all gonna be practicing hard. That's the thing that's made all of them so good is their work ethic is amazing and, and they know how to prepare for events and I expect they're all gonna be hitting on all eight cylinders when we get there. Of course, having to rope against them, I'm hoping I have my day. <laughs> I'm pretty sure because I have roped with them and watched them all my life of what they'll do. You know, in the mental picture of what you're fixing to compete in is, is huge for us. So, yeah, I will be meditating on what I think Speedy's going to do and T and Jake and I have a pretty good idea. I mean, I plan on trying to put pressure on them guys. I want to be as consistent as I can, but if I can rope as fast as I want to rope without missing anything, it's going to force some guys to make fast shots and possibly make mistakes. And if I could get them to make mistakes, that's obviously that's how I'm going to come out on top. <laughs>